So I'm here to explain how I get smooth uh, 120 FPS footage in OBS and how it translates to YouTube. So I use an H.265 AMD encoder because I have an AMD GPU and their H.264 codec isn't great. So I have to use H.265. H um, these are my settings. I record at 45,000, I think it's kilobits a second or something like that. Uh, then I record it. I, I, I clip 60 seconds at a time. I should probably record more, uh, but I don't. I use integer FPS values instead of fractional because I haven't been able to get the fractional to work uh, like 100% of the time. So I just use you know replay buffer and OBS to clip to my hard drive, which I have all my clips here. And then I uh, import that because I don't want to keep the full 60 second uh, file for each clip I make. So I take it into this program called Lossless Cut. Um, I can just open something like, yeah, okay. So you just grab the, uh, the cut marker, cut one end and then cut the other. And as long as it's an MP4, you can just cut off the ends and then you can export it to whatever folder you set. And it takes, yeah, literally two seconds and it doesn't re-encode it so you don't lose anything hence the name losses cut it's on github this dude works on it pretty pretty regularly um and i just started to use it and i love it then i take those cut clips into fmpeg the batch converter it's like a i don't think it's first party i'm pretty sure it's like a third party software that people made for ffmpeg but basically it makes you it allows you to you know use this on a, a batch of files so you can do sequentially you know so you don't have to do each individual file through a command prompt so again i use not that i use the amd h265 this is what i use to blend 120 fps footage into 60. it also works for 180 fps footage like i i used it for both it's fine you hit Sequential encoding, so it'll do one at a time and as many as you have. And then from there, I take it into DaVinci Resolve, where I import the footage. Just import something. Change that back here to create the timeline. I don't understand why they haven't made it simpler, but then I want to, for YouTube's compression, you want to export in 1440p to get their uh, their good compression, like what I don't remember, it was called VA1 or something, I don't remember. But if you upload in 1080p, then, you know, you're, it'll look all blocky and whatever, so you always want to be uploading in 1440p if you can. And then I edit in here, do all that stuff, and then my export settings are uh, H.264, MP4, uh, and then it automatically goes to this, but I try to do 45,000 kilobits a second again, you know, render it here. And then, uh, I don't use YouTube. I, I upload it afterwards, but yeah, render it out, upload it to YouTube. And then, yeah, that's how, that's how it's done. I don't think I've forgotten anything. So yeah, ask questions in the comments, I guess, if you want to know more.